You got the touch. What's up guys, Austin here with another video and today we'll be taking a look at Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Voyager Class Megatron. Now here's a Megatron in his box, he sort of around here, there's his bio, if you'd like to stop and read that, go ahead. And there's a real nice picture of Megatron there, flip around at the back, nothing much, just kind of, you know, the blade and everything, his battle claw, I don't have that, I have it in storage right now, so it's not going to be included in this video. There you can see a real nice picture of the Autobots, real nice picture of Megatron there, flip around here, really, really nice picture of Megatron there, really nice artwork, and then of course here we swerve around, here you can see, oh, and I just, eh, see, I have the twisty ties out, and it, it's just Megatron in the box. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and, and oh yeah, real, really nice picture of Megatron there as well. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and get Megatron out and see how cool he actually is. So here we have Megatron open up and out of the packaging. Now, here you see that he is super cool, I mean, in his jet mode. Now, there is, now there are some minor flaws with it. Now the flaws that I have with it are, number one, Hasbro has the chance and the ability to cheat with this figure. And the ability that they decided to do that was they didn't put a lot of paint applications into this. Now if I were you, I would highly recommend getting Reaper labels for this, which then of course if you have Soundwave, they come with Soundwave, so you, you got Soundwave with it. Uh, you got the sound like Reaper labels with it. Now, take a look at Megatron. He does have some, you know, dark Energon look like the translucent blue, uh, purple there. You got the translucent purple bit on the gun here. And then, of course, you do got the gimmick where you push this and it's all the mech tech crap, but it, it lights up. And you, you can't even see it, but you can see the light down in there. So, you can see his head. You can see his head up there, and I don't really like that. I mean, that's kind of just weird. So, let's get on to the transformation. So, to transform Megatron, it is kind of a pain in the butt. What you want to do first is come around here and wiggle his gun off. Wiggle it, wiggle it off. And take his, let me kind of angle down a little bit. Alright. And what you want to do next is take his legs, unpeg them, and bring them around. Unpeg this, and bring it around. And what you want to do next is fold that little spike up, fold the spike up, then unpeg his entire legs and just kind of let them flop around. So then what you want to do next is rotate this up and collapse it in. It's going to accordion in until his leg fills in just like that. The same thing on the other side. And of course you want to rotate them around, that way they're facing forward. Then you can transform his feet, just kind of fold them out. Fold them out, and then you have Megatron's legs almost complete. I'm going to take his chest pieces, move them up, take this little bit, fold that up. Take this back part, collapse it in, uh, squeeze it tight, and then there you have his legs and his waist complete. And what you want to do is come around here to the back, unpeg his arms, and then there's uh, holes here in his arms, plus the pegs there, and you want to unpeg these. Unpeg that one as well. And these pieces are already unpegged, but what you want to do is kind of bring these back and around. And then there you reveal this head. Now these are kind of called revealers a little bit as well. So when you do bring that down, you're going to bring out his Decepticon symbol, which I really think is cool. Rotate these around, bring these shoulder pieces up, uh, and then what you want to do is come around here, bring his arms out, bring his arms out. What you want to do then is rotate them around. Rotate, come on. Rotate around, bring his little fisties out. Bring his little fist out, and then kind of bring, like I said, just kind of bring this stuff out. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt. Okay, bring it out, and you should kind of have it something sort of looking like, this. kind of sort of something looking like this. Then what you want to do is, if you can kind of see, there's holes here, 
and there's pegs right there right in there right there so what you want to do is bring them down and around and tab them in and bring these out of the way and what you want to do tab them in bring this guy around bring his shoulder bits down and then these back here you can kind of do whatever you want I do what the instructions say to do and there you have Megatron in his robot mode. Now Megatron has been my favorite for a very long time. Starscream, as always, second in command, has always been my second favorite. Then taking a look at this guy, I would have to say that maybe the Starscream toy might be a little better than this guy. Now I don't have a Starscream to compare it to, but once I do, I will be having a little size comparison of them. Now, to put his gun on, what you can do is just kind of peg it onto his arm right there. And there you have his arm cannon on, which really looks cool. I really do like that. That is really, really looking cool. As you can see in the head, he actually has teeth in there. If you can see, and then he, of course he also has that very inviting kind of smile like. And with my lights here, you can see that they're actually lighting up his eyes. And they're actually lighting up his chest too, so I really do like that. Plus you can see the the metal the metal kind of stuff in here which they didn't have to include that but you know what it really makes this figure pop and I, ju I just love how they make it look like he has decept uh not decept that he has dark energy on in there now you can see that his arms are even glowing plus uh throughout it uh such as the back piece which i forgot to fold up actually glows as well um so the next part is you want to fold that up <laughs> and there you have that now, for articulation for Megatron, it is kind of hindered. He has a ball joint on his head, which is kind of hindered because of the front and the back stuff. He has a ball joint on his arm, which is kind of hindered because of these. He has swivel up here at the elbow. He is back and forth at the elbow. He has pivot in the elbow. He, I mean, not at the elbow. He has pivot at the wrist. He has ball joint there, back, uh, thigh articulation. He has bendy point at the knee and even some foot pivot so you can get a couple good poses with them but not all the best ones that you might want to be asking Megatron to do so but I do love the, uh, some of the detail but like I said go out and buy repro labels now with Megatron's gun you can take it and push the button and it flips out and it's supposed to light up his blade, but it really doesn't. Now, people have taken the spring out of the gun, causing the weight of this to push it forward, and it stayed lit up the whole time, but then, of course, that will make your battery dead, pretty much. So I highly recommend not doing that. So let's go ahead and put them with a few size comparisons. Here we have Megatron right here. And now here we have Transformers First Edition, Cliff Jumper, which of course, eh, this would look like a good scale right here with Megatron. And now here we have him next to R.I.D. Soundwave, which looks like a very, very good comparison right here. Very good comparison. Really do like that. And now here we have Megatron next to First Edition R.C., which this is indeed no comparison whatsoever because remember in uh, season two I believe it was in Orion Pax a uh, spoiler alert here Megatron actually grabbed RC and RC fit right in Megatron's hand so this is definitely no size comparison that we would see at all okay to transform Megatron what you want to do first is come around here take his gun off his arm simple as that take his hands fold them in take his other hand fold that in Take his arms, rotate them around, rotate that around. What you want to do next is unpeg his arms from being there. Then you want to take his waist and unpeg that and bring this down. And what you want to do next is bring these, these uh, chest plates down. Then what you want to do after that is kind of, I don't know, these are getting in the way a whole bunch of times. But first you want to kind of accordion his arms in underneath here. You want to bring these down and out of the way. Okay, maybe you push them forward. And bring his arms here and rotate his arm, arms around yet another time. To bring them to here. 
then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of accordion them in yet again and then there should be a hole here and a giant peg here peg that in the same thing on the other side and then you see these bring those together and voila you've got the hind arms of you got the hind jet of megatron bring that over kind of position the head now get these out of the way bring these pieces forward peg them together as well and what you want to do next is kind of fold all that up take his legs take his feet fold them around fold them around take his legs unpeg them until they get just about there flip the piece out rotate it around a little bit take the piece out rotate that around kind of bring the piece out and then what you want to do after that kind of bring the waist back just like so now this is where you want to rotate the legs around as well and then you want to rotate these legs around as well and of course i have this one rotated the wrong way there you go and then bring the leg plates this way bring the leg plates this way and i just broke the leg off Okay, now I put his leg back on. What you want to do, and these bits are going to get in the way a whole bunch of times, is you want to kind of bring this up over. Kind of bring it up over. Kind of bring it around, and then sometimes this will get stuck. Just kind of pull it out. Just kind of situate it. Alright, then we got a peg here and a hole here. Put that in. Rotate this around, and right underneath here, you see the hole, and there's a peg there. Put that together just like so. What you want to do is the chest plates, put them together just like so. Bring this up, do the same thing on this side. Kind of get that positioned. Bring this up and around, and yet again, put that in like it should be. Bring this, oh, I can't even see anything. Bring this around. Just like so, peg that in, if you can get it, kind of position everything, and then what I like to do is take the feet, fold them just like so, take the gun, put this on, and there you have Megatron back in to his jet mode. Alright, so here we have Megatron back into his jet mode. So. Like I said, Hasbro kind of cheated with it, and I can't believe that they decided to just take it and just, you know, kind of splatter some paint details on there and just forget all about it and make repo labels do all the work. That's what kind of upsets me with this guy. I do like his fusion cannon, but it's a bit too big for his vehicle mode. Now, like I said, Cybertronian jets, they cheat with them. So do I recommend getting this? I sort of do i mean if you want a megatron that's cool looking get the first edition with the two pack if you want a megatron that'd be more in scale with everyone get this guy so thanks for tuning in guys this is austin and i'll talk to you guys later bye bye